guys, what's going on? My name is Zach, and if you're new here, I love doing movie reviews. I love talking movies with you guys, so let's be talking the new movie, because I got a brand new movie review for you guys today, and that is Jason Reitman's new film, The Front Runner. Now, The Front Runner is about American Senator Gary Hart's presidential campaign in 1988, when it is derailed when he's caught in a scandalous love affair. The film stars Hugh Jackman, Vera Farmiga, and J.K. Simmons, and really... I was a little bit looking forward to this film because on paper when you hear about this movie you got Jason Reitman directing and writing the film you have Hugh Jackman portraying Gary Hart which in a sense could be a very interesting character and an interesting story to be told within the political climate and these political movies and this sort and you got J.K. Simmons coming in you got Vera Farmiga who's probably one of the most underrated actresses in Hollywood if I'm being completely honest I'll say this, the, the front runner is good. Um, I don't think it's a front runner for best picture or front runner for any Oscar caliber awards, but I still think it is a good movie. This film really reminds me of The Post from last year. It feels like The Post in a lot of instances where on paper, The Post is a great, if not an excellent film. But when you see it, it's just good. It, there's nothing hugely special about it. And the front runner is kind of the same way. There's nothing huge special about it. There's no big breakout performance where it's like, that's the Oscar winner there. Everyone does do a good job in here. J.K. Simmons is great. Hugh Jackman is fantastic. And Vera Farmiga is good. They're all good in what they're doing. And one of the good things that I think Hugh Jackman really did nail as Gary Hart isn't just portraying Gary Hart, but it's also showing the emotion and the stress that goes through a guy as these affairs are coming out, as he's trying to cover it up, as he's just trying to get around it and still become president and it's a very intriguing story on that part and the way they stagnated this whole movie from week one to week two week three because it takes place three weeks going in to the presidential election is interesting and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't i feel like sometimes the film became a little bit unfocused with what it was there's so many characters so many different things that you really only get to know a couple of them but they try to focus on certain ones towards the ending that i felt like didn't need to be but again I was intrigued from this film, especially within the week two segment. There's a, so much to digest in that segment and so much to get into within it that I was so invested within it. And I think the score benefited the film by upgrading it to another layer. One of the other great things about the film, though, is the script. The script, the dialogue is all superb. It's just, you can tell these actors has such a great time munching and digesting each and every one of these words and spewing it out on the screen. The story elements of the story structure could have been a little bit told better. It feels like nothing was ended up on the chopping block, but I think certain elements should have been addressed a little bit more. I think the relationship with Gary Hart and his wife should have been addressed a little bit more. I think the affair should have been tackled a little, little bit more. And I think some of the other things leading up to him as is being this outstanding man and about to win the presidential election and then turns out that he has this affair and how is he going to handle it i think some of those can have been focused on a little more that's why i said this film feels a little bit unfocused it focuses on certain things but never grabs on the one thing and tackles it hard yes this film is tackling freedom of press it's tackling who do you want in presidential office do you want this person do you want that person and yeah at times people can say that this film is a little bit timely and what is going on in today's climate with the political climate we're not talking about that though because this is the movie and we're talking about the movie but i feel like there could have been a little bit more different things here and there about the movie again i didn't hate this movie it just turned out good i think this film could have been excellent i think some of the unfocused stuff from the direction could have been a bit better again jason reitman directed the film fine there's nothing horrible about it it's a fantastic script a great score with some good performances in here that makes the film a little bit interesting to watch and i like going to these films that really plop you into a different time segment in the world of history that united states history class will never teach you and you get to learn a little bit more about something that you might have never known about and then it's up to you if you want to to go back and see okay what was true what was not what's actually going on what was other things that were going on that's some of the best things about these movies so with all that said i'm gonna give the front runner a b minus turned into this movie or maybe you lived around that time and you want to hear more about it and see it on the big screen it definitely is worth the watch it is coming out this weekend so guys go check it out I'm curious your guys thoughts down below in the comments but also guys if you guys are new here hit up sandwich on films also down there because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens you can check out some movie news and even some movie reviews but guys of course until next time, stay class.